Are you, my friend, a mom who has kids who are constantly driving you crazy? If so, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to stop feeling so reactive and what you can do instead to quickly calm yourself down in less than a minute. And yes, like it really is that quick. And to make sure that you keep your cool in every situation with your kids, just comment below and I'll reach out and I'll send you a copy of my free Crazy to Calm Parent Secrets Guide that outlines exactly how you can stop overreacting and instead nurture a really close relationship with your kids. Like over the next week, like your relationship can be transformed. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Frances Vitikovic. I'm a no fluff life coach and a course creator who helps mums achieve their goals without ever having to sacrifice their family life or their sanity. And over the last few years, I've helped over six and a half thousand students do exactly that. Embrace their goals, embrace motherhood with less mind drama and instead way more focus and intention. And over the next few minutes, I wanna share with you exactly what to do when your kids are driving you crazy. And the first step is actually so simple. Now what most parents do when their kid or teen behaves in a way that they don't love, we make it all about us. Like we think thoughts like, our kid is doing that purposely to annoy us. They know, they know they're not supposed to be doing that, but they're still doing it. They're misbehaving. They're not following the rules, which makes us feel what? Like when you're thinking thoughts like this, of course you're gonna consequently feel angry or frustrated or annoyed or a whole flurry of negative emotions because in these scenarios, we're taking their actions personally. We're making it mean something negative about our kids or our teens and of course, Negative thoughts equal negative feelings. But what would I recommend that you do instead, and I swear this is gonna take you less than a minute to do, is ask yourself this question. What do you think is running through your child's mind right now? Seriously, just ask yourself this one question, because when you ask yourself this question, it's gonna force you to step out of your own shoes and put you in the shoes of your child or teen for a moment. So what do you think they might be thinking or feeling right now? Like, Get genuinely curious about this. Do you think that they're having their own reasons for taking those actions? And what would those reasons be? Like, do you think it makes logical sense for them to behave in this way to them, not to you? And are they really trying to hurt you or are they doing what feels easiest for them in that moment? And what would it be like if you instead gave them the benefit of the doubt, if you decided to shower them with a little bit of love and grace and compassion rather than anger and criticism? Could the way that you decide to show up in this moment positively change or steer your result in a different direction? Like, of course, like, when you act in a different way, in a positive way, it leads to positive results. And we as adults sometimes forget that we behave in ways that not everyone loves. We behave in ways that other people don't necessarily understand. And the same is true for your kids. So just consider that they might genuinely be doing the best that they can with the tools and resources that they have at their disposal. And even if their best still feels short of your expectations, maybe genuinely it really is their best because inside they might be feeling tired or emotional or hormonal or any other number, number of things. And so they really are doing their best. And just like you're a human, they're a human too. And I want you to remember what unconditional love is all about. It's loving someone no matter what even when they're rude, even when they're misbehaving. And remember that you get to decide how you show up in these moments. This is where your power as a parent lies. Deciding how you wanna show up in the good times and the bad, okay? The bad are gonna be there too. And if you want a clear outline of this process so you can keep it in the forefront of your mind, just comment below and I'll send you a free copy of my Crazy to Calm Parent Secrets Guide. I promise this PDF is gonna completely change the way that you show up with your kids every single day. And that is it for now, my friend. Take care until next time.